Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna cook the king kole that we got in our last video with our three prong. We're gonna make mochiko king kole with a black bean butter sauce. So we have our mochiko flour, that's the sweet rice flour. Gonna add some trusty old garlic salt. And we're gonna add some black pepper. You can kind of see our rice cooking in the back. So this is a little, um, you have to kick it in steps. You gotta re be really careful. You wanna get it to the right consistency. So I'm gonna whip it, whisk it up. And I put water in a little at a time. So right now it's way too thick. And plus, it looks like um, I need a little bit more. So uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more mochiko flour and a little bit more salt. And I'm gonna keep adding water little by little, whisking it up. I wanna get it to the point where it just flows right off the whisk. So it's still too thick. So I'm gonna keep adding water until I get it to the right consistency. Cause I want a really light coating. I don't wanna make it like, like a dough ball. So it's getting close. You can see it's sticking a little bit. Add a little bit more water. And we're almost there. You can see it's a nice smooth texture. Try to get all the lumps off the side of the bowl there. You can see how it just falls right off the whisk. Perfect. Okay, I splattered some. I'm gonna make sure my cutting board is clean. And now it's time for the fish. So there's the king kole that I shot that you saw in the other video. You can see the three prong right by the head. So my pot is a little too small for even this small one. So I'm gonna take my dive knife and I'm gonna remove the head so it fits. The head is gonna to go to our compost pile. And I'm gonna make sure that um, I'm gonna, that the fish is dry so the um, batter adheres to it. We use a lot of paper towels. And we actually, um, all the paper towels that we use, uh, we keep and we use them as a fire starter. So they go into a separate bag. Clean my knife. And I'm gonna make some cuts in the fish. So this will not only help the cooking, uh, but it'll help the seasoning get into the meat, but it also uh, looks kind of cool. It's kind of easier to eat too. Uh, when we plate it up, uh, you can just take your chopsticks and peel off each of the chunks. We're gonna do the last amount of drying, make sure it's as dry as possible. Uh, we're going to add some garlic salt, very light amount. I'm going to try to massage it into uh, the cuts and also in the cavity. So make sure it gets into the meat. And now we're ready to apply the batter. I'm going to dip it in. I'm using my fingers to work the batter into the cuts. And the mochiko flour, it's, um, it's a lot different than cornstarch, so um, give it a try. And it goes right into the hot oil. You can see it 
even with the uh, cutting the head off, it kind of doesn't fit. Even for that small fish. Okay, so that one side is pretty much done. Gonna flip it over. There, it looks pretty good. And it's almost ready to come out. I'm using my left hand to move the tripod. I bet the Iron Chefs didn't need to do that. And here it comes. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna put it on the paper towel to dab off some of the oil, but we're not done yet. So I'm gonna flip it over each side. Get the oil off, but um, kind of made a mistake. Is normally um, I take it off the paper towel because this happens. So I should have removed it from the paper towel and then put it right on the cutting board. Uh, we're gonna twice fry this, and the reason why is uh, it'll get uh, crunchier. Uh, broke the tail, the tail's not gonna be able to stay on. So right now the fish is really delicate. You have to be very careful here because it's going to uh, fall apart. So we're just going to throw it in the oil long enough for it to get a nice crust. And to brown up. So as I said, the fish is ready to fall apart. It makes eating it a lot easier. But with the extra crunch, you can chew on the, uh, the fins and chew on the collar. Look at that. It looks perfect. Tail fell off. But we'll fix that in plating. So flipped it over and ready to pull it out. Put a clean paper towel down. You can see how nice and solid the fish are. I mean, the fins are. It's good. Nice and golden brown. Get the oil off. Don't forget the tail. We need that for the presentation and for people who like to chew on it. Uh, because it's bigger than the regular cole, it's hard to eat the whole thing because the bones are, bones are thicker. Okay, so I'm taking my second pot. And now we're going to prepare the sauce. We're going to use black bean sauce. I'm going to heat up the pan and we're going to melt down some butter. So this is going to be super fast. Um, actually melting down the butter is probably going to take the longest. And we want to make sure that uh, we don't burn the butter. Not going to add anything else in there. So the butter is pretty much melted. Turn down the heat and add some black bean sauce. And this is going to thicken up really fast because of the, the sugar. So you really got to watch this. You can't you can't leave it. Otherwise, you're just going to have uh, black bean paste. So you can see it's ready to go right now. It's, it's really thick. It's, maybe it's a little hard to tell there. So we're going to turn off the fire. And it's ready for plating. So we're going to take our, our hand-carved heel plate. Put the fish on. Put the tail back. Can't even tell. This is the hard part. Pouring the sauce on and moving the tripod at the same time. So you can see how thick it is right there. It looks great. Tastes even better. So I'm going to coat the entire fish. And take it to the table. So here's our dinner. It's our fried eggplant, some meat, some pickled cucumbers. And our mochiko king kole with a black bean butter sauce garnished with a green onions. Thanks for watching and aloha.